Hello everybody, it's The Warm. Welcome back to Steins Gate. And I am pretty... miffed today. Yes, I'm rather upset. My ability to take notes has been restricted for some reason. I tend to use uh, Microsoft Word for that sort of thing. And yet it feels like every every month or so at, le at least once a month maybe twice at some point while just using it for whatever it'll pop up and then suddenly an error message pops up and it says something like it says something like we're sorry but word has run into an error that is preventing it from working correctly or something like that and then it says repair, help, or close, and closing the message just closes the whole program. Help doesn't do anything, uh, so I'm not sure why that's there. Maybe it used to, but now it's broken. And then clicking repair also closes the program, and nothing happens. If I open the program again, it, it the error message pops up again. And so I have to do this whole song and dance about finding the you know, the Word program and uh, in the whole list of programs and trying to repair it, you know, repair the whole program. And so that whole process takes... Yeah, well, for some reason in that in the list of programs, you know, on the, on the list where you could sort of uninstall or repa try to repair programs, there's, there's two Microsoft Word things, or, or at least Microsoft Office. I'm, I'm not sure what that whole deal is, so... I don't even know which one's the right one. So I, you know, click repair, and it says, do you want to do an offline repair or an online repair? And boy, I, I don't know. So, you know, I, I, because I, I can't remember which I chose last time. I should probably write it down. But, you know, I just hit offline repair, and it's been going for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes by this point. Maybe it'll take up to half an hour, I don't know. And then even then, I'm not sure it'll work. I, I may have picked the wrong Microsoft Office, or maybe I have to do an online repair. I don't know. It's just very frustrating. So that's that's my state of mind going into this. <laughs> uh, I was just going to watch back my previous episode and then take the notes that I, you know, so I can get everything straightened out, but I uh, couldn't do that. So... You know, I just I just had to watch the previous episode, and um, so I'm I'm relatively reminded of it. But you know, I don't want to have to go back and watch all my previous episodes in order to get a gist of what happened. You know, I, I would just like it if I could just get click you know some clear summary notes. But uh, looks like that's out of my reach for whatever reason. So oh well. Let's continue on, because I want to continue on. Um, I'm not going to wait for Microsoft Word. So, uh, last time, uh, we reached a pretty important point in our story. Daru hacked CERN. Uh, we, he was able to get into an account of uh, a Mr. Jack, who is a, some kind of manager, but he's not a system admin. So we only got a limited look. But what we found was quite something. We found that, uh, let's see, let me think back. We found um, mention of a, of, of a human dying at some point. Um, and we found, we found the evidence of the min miniature black holes. And then we found this uh, secret server that seems to have information that is in, that can only be the data can only be interpreted via the IBM 5100 and then we sort of confirmed that with John Titor and so it all it's all sort of connecting it looks like John Titor in order to i suppose avert the future where CERN takes over needs the IBM 5100 to um, 
I don't know if they're... Well, I guess we don't know if John Titor is looking specifically for that server and the information on that specific server, or if they need it for something else. But, uh... Uh... That's, at least, from what we know so far, that that's probably what they need it for. Um, so that's that. We are now going out. What were we going to do? Hang on a second. I can't remember why we were leaving. I know that Daru and Mayuri didn't want to go do whatever we were about to do. Let me see if I could find what it was. I guess we're looking for the IBM 5100. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start do doing our search. And maybe by the time this episode's done, my Microsoft Word will be repaired and I can take notes. Uh, but uh, for some reason, I don't feel very confident. Anyway, let's begin. I step out onto the street. Whoa. Immediately, a bicycle skids to a stop in front of me. Hi! Okabe Rintaro! Hello. Suzuha gets off her bicycle and gives me a strange greeting. I want to ask her, are you an American or something? But I'm distracted by her shiny bicycle. It's the same bicycle that was in front of the Brawn Tube workshop yesterday. I guess it belongs to her. I wonder how much that set her back. I mean, it does look pretty expensive. Motorcycles. My mind. Isn't that backward? Weird girl. And what's with the flashy braking back there? I think it'd be pretty dangerous if she did that all through town. Beginners get cocky and get into accidents. You see that pattern all the time. If you're going to if you're gonna go full speed, at least wear a helmet. Yes, absolutely wear a helmet. <laughs> The brown tube workshop shutters are open, but the shop itself never opens until around 11 or 12. I don't know exactly when. It seems to change with Mr. Braun's mood. Oh. Wait, I just realized something. Do you think Mr. Braun... Do you think that's a play on... There's the brown tube, but he's also really strong and muscly, so Braun... I think, I think that might be the joke there. Yeah. At least it seems that, that makes sense to me. He's a brawny guy. Yeah. Just just caught that, just now. え?これから回転準備しなきゃいけないんだよね。このオンボロブラウン館屋に何を準備することがある? <laughs> So he's paying her to not clean. Something's wrong with that guy. In other words, she doesn't feel like talking. I glare at her. My glare is not very effective. She doesn't falter at all. But I still maintain my stern expression and nod. <laughs> Suzuha shrugs her shoulders as she locks her bicycle. Then she turns to me. Oh. 
知っているように見えた知ってるのは私の知り合いだってばならばその知り合いのところへ案内してもらおう嫌だとは言わせん拒否すればお前はこの世の地獄を見ることになる無理 Come on I even said I'd show you a living hell 会いたくても会えないからさどういう意味だまさか想像上の存在か死んだから何年も前に。Oh. Well, hold that thought, Suzuha. I have mail to read. Ferris. This is in response to this? I think. Ferris, the song of prophecy. But the fallen angel, Fes or Fess, prophesied his resurrection in her song, The Necklace of. Vajrayana Nyan. This song is the cat's meow. I found a copy of the album she put back she put out back in her indie days, had to pay for it through the whiskers for it, and faithfully faithfully decoded each song of prophecy during regarding Judgment Day Nya. Oh, that was tough for me to read for some reason. You have an attachment here, looks like. It's a whole, it's a whole dang song in there, huh? You know, we're gonna not do that right now. But、uh, thanks for that. I'll, I'll listen to it in my own time.、Uh, so, what were you saying, Suzuha? Is someone died? No. Smallakoto. そんなわけで、私の持ってる情報、そんなに大したことないわけ。むしろ私の方が教えてもらいたいぐらいだよ。スーザー pats me on the shoulders。funny。you think I'm the one who's supposed to cheer her up。did I say that right。yeah。just then、mr. brown opens the door and makes his appearance。おい、バイト。まだ3日目なのに遅刻してんじゃねえああ店長ごめんちょっと朝から立て込んでてさ真面目にやらねえならいつでもクビにするからな岡部もうちのバイトに手つけようとしてんじゃねえぞ浴場しているのはあなたではないのかミスター・ブラウンもしナインがいる前でそういうこと言ってみろマジで殺すからな父親としての古剣に関わる様々そ,そんなしょんべんくせえガキに浴場なんかするかよふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふ Suza is actually mad now. Nanda, who got that? Atashiwa Gaki than I. It's in my no sense, da yo. Suza has burning passion, has the manager shocked. I, on the other hand, am impressed. On impulse, I take Suza has hand and grasp it firmly. いい目をしているなバイト戦士現代人にはない野獣さながらのギラギラした輝きがあるその目を忘れるな
そうすればお前は必ずやバイト戦士から真の戦士へとクラスチェンジできるだろうっていうか私はもう戦士なんだってばセルン殿ラグナロックの暁には共に戦おうではないかそれまで精進するがいいラグナロックチュニビオイノースメソロジーノース・ミソロジー、The Final War of the Gods、also known as The Twilight of the Gods。Yes、Yes indeed。ラグナロックスーサー looks confused。何それセルト、最終決戦。そんなの起きる予定があるのあるならぜひ参加するけど、聞いたことないな。当たり前だ今初めて明かしたのだからなラグナロックは俺が起こす世界を作り変えるためにだおお岡部凛太郎ってば勇ましいじゃんどうせ失敗するだろうけどその心意気は好きだよ私の仲間も君ぐらい気概があればよかったんだけどな Apparently, Suzuha has comrades. I'd like her to introduce me. That way, I can form my personal army, the Phoenix Crusaders. Wait, wait a sec. Why does she assume I'll fail at Ragnarok? Looks like I need to instill the fear of Hoin Kyoma into this girl. <laughs> バイトいいからさっさと店に入れはーいじゃあね岡部凛太郎スズハウェーブスウィンクスメイシーヘッドインサイドストーレンマイユリコムズダウンドステーズパスンスズハやはり一緒に探す気になったかいいラボメン精神だあううん違うよお昼ご飯を買ってこようかと思ってだんって She really is a glutton It's not even lunch time yet Oh I was gonna say something I, I forgot it's, it's kind of funny to me how I think So part of that scene that just occurred there was Suzuha <laughs> She said some things, and Rintaro here kind of interpreted it as a bit like she was a bit、uh, of a chuni, I think, is how I was supposed to interpret that. And so he, he kind of acted like she was a bit of a kindred spirit to him.、Um, but what was funny to me about that is, is if that is the case of what was going on there. It was funny to me that he sort of <laughs> went out of his way to, you know, say that stuff about Ragnarok and, you know, keep that, keep the, remember the, the way your eyes look and all that sort of stuff. He said that to her, you know, as if he's meeting a, a fellow Chunibyo, but it, a, and yet, when he's confronted with Ferris,、um, he's, he's completely at a loss, you know?、Uh, Because she, she's able to out Chuni the Chuni. That's, that's, the, that's the thing.、Um, so that, that kind of made that scene a bit funny for me. I forgot to say this. She really is a glutton. It's not even lunchtime yet. Mayuri places her finger on, the bottom, on her bottom lip in thought as she walks. This tiny high school girl truly has guts to enter Sanbo alone. We,、uh, Sanbo was mentioned before, but I don't remember the context. 
That place isn't like the chain restaurants with their colorful menus and brightly lit interiors. First timers are often cowed by the old school atmosphere. Uh, plus, the clientele is almost exclusively male. But Mayuri doesn't care. She just sits there, shoulder to shoulder, with students and businessmen, smiling as she eats her beef bowl. Meanwhile, the Sandbists, regular Sambo customers, are posting comments online like, The Goddess has arrived, or Goddess for the win. <laughs> I try to warn her, but Mayuri is no longer there. She's gone. Mayuri disappears like this every so often. And each time she does, I wonder for one terrible second if she really has vanished from the world. I look around and see Mayuri standing at a distance. She's gazing up at the sky through the buildings. Here we go again. She's stopped in the middle of the street, so other pedestrians look at her, wondering what she's doing. But she doesn't notice their stares. She slowly reaches out to the sky as if entranced. And then she freezes in that position. This is uh, one of Mayuri's habits. I call it Stardusk Handshake. Mayuri says she's liked looking at the night sky ever since she was little. Her reason is romantic, or perhaps childish. When I asked her about it one day, she just smiled and gave that answer. At first she only reached out during the night sky, but lately she's been doing it without regard to the time of day. Like now. Even when she's walking and talking with someone, something inside her just seems to switch on. Honestly, it's a little crazy, says Rintaro. I walk up to Mayuri and call out to her. She lowers her hand with a blank smile on her face. <laughs> now they say street, but it looks like this is just for foot traffic. Are there... would people bring scooters down here, or smaller cars? I can recall... Um, I have been... To Europe, and in the the places I were I was at, the you know because cities in Europe are much much older than in America, and they they had much smaller streets, and they, you know as as a response to that they also had much smaller cars. Uh, so, what would look like an alleyway to me, uh, actually had cars go down it, and so I'm wondering. Is that the case here? Would would there would there be a car that goes down this way, or is this pla plainly for foot traffic? Still, still not good to just stop moving in the middle of the uh, path. But yeah. How are ramen and stars even related? Mayuri's mind works in mysterious ways. I know I'd said... I know I said I'd search for the IBN 5100, but uh, I have nowhere to... I have no idea where to start. I spent about an hour in an internet cafe searching for information, but turned up nothing. I buy some mango juice with tapioca from a juice stand inside Yorobashi. I lose myself in thought as I drink. It's Saturday, so it's starting to get crowded in front of the station. Oh, someone, um, I, I was reminded, well, I'm sure it's reminded, uh, but I was told, remember I was curious as to, uh, I thought it was a bit odd that these three had so much free time lately, but it would appear that it is summer break of some sort. 
Which, that makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, I'm sure they probably mentioned that at some point, and I just did not digest that information, but uh, thanks for reminding me. So, uh, makes sense that he has time to just go out walking around, do stuff. Yeah. Did I, did I read this? Some maids are distributing leaflets to the people coming out. I know Daru is well acquainted with retro PCs, but is there anyone else? Oh, yeah. Shining Finger was obsessed with the IBM 5100, wasn't she? I'm really reluctant to contact that male demon, though. But ultimately, my feelings are trivial. Ragnarok hangs in the balance. But I... Oh, wait a second. I think that was a... Was that an opportunity to send a message? How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Well, dang it. Now that I've been told that there are moments where I can send messages, I've tried to be on the lookout and I I think that was I think that was one right there. Hmm. You know what? Give me one second. Give me one second. Now, now that I've actually found an opportunity, or what I think is an opportunity, g give me one second. I, I do want to try this. Okay. I'm back. I think I found it. I just, uh, I reloaded and skipped up to this point again. And I think I found it. Okay, so, uh, let's actually, let's actually do one of these. Let's see what happens. I don't know Shining Finger's phone number, so I'll just send her an email for the time being. Oh my goodness. Okay. Once I fin finish drinking my juice, I aimlessly head toward Chuodori. Wow, she's quick. Thanks for the email. I've been waiting. I don't like talking on the phone, so let's exchange the emails instead. Wait, she wants it by email? There's a lot to cover. I'd rather not have to type it all out. I need to find out her phone number. Give me your phone number along with any information you have on the IBN 5100. And send. Mm. I look up after finishing my email and see a huge crowd of people in front of Roddy Khan. I guess the satellite is still a big deal. The media presence hasn't died, died down since the day of the crash site, either. Crash, either. Eh. Radicon is still closed. And, of course, the satellite's still there. That does seem... I feel like it would still be blocked off. I feel like that could... You know, just the potential that it could fall down into the street. Hmm. About 30 seconds pass before we get a reply. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't even check it. Right as I'm about to look down and read the email, I catch sight of a familiar face in the crowd. Joshua. Can I No, it's not going to let me. Not too long ago, actually. She looks like she'll snap at me, so to dampen her spirit, I go back to checking my email. I 
don't have anything? How about you? Oh, you mean information on the IBM. What is wrong with this woman? I told her to tell me her phone number and she just ignored me. And she doesn't even have any information. How useless can you be? <笑>気にするの。イライラしているのはお前が原因ではない。やつ当たりか。睨まないでよ。お前だって以前俺のことを何度も睨んだだろう。それはあんたが変態行為よ。Another one? Tell me the Super Haka's address. Okay, this was a mistake. Should not, should not have sent her a message. I want to snap my phone in half and throw it to the ground. What do you mean, tell me the Super Haka's address? You making fun of me with that musical note? You're not getting anything from me. Good, good, uh, good instincts there, Rentaro. Anyway, why does she need to? S why does she need to send me two short co consecutive emails? I mean, she might as well just combine them into one. I agree. I can't quite describe it in one word. Stop sending me all these short emails, I'm begging you. Just gather your thoughts and send them everything together. I feel a little satisfied after sending that email. I turn to Chris again. So, do you want to talk about what we saw? You know, the whole uh, time machine thing? It seemed like it affected you pretty deeply. But, uh, I guess we're just gonna, not going to address it for now, huh? Well, she is only a temporary member. No, it's because she's a temporary member that we need to get as much out of her as we can. Chris who sighs and looks up at the satellite. We are not alone. Several other people are standing there looking up. It's Akiba's latest tourist attraction. And that's to say nothing about the huge hole it punched in the building. Are satellites that durable? Three days have passed and it's still unknown. How interesting. I smell a conspiracy. Yeah, honestly, Rintaro, I, I would be surprised if you did not smell a, a conspiracy. Oh, you shouldn't ask. No. Well, 
どう見ても陰謀論です本当にあり Thank you very much This phrase is commonly used on the internet as a way of punctuating a statement It originates from a story posted on at channel in which a man tries to pass his bodily fluids off, a, off as a popular soft drink It was obviously blank Thank you very much Okay Chrisu hangs her head and blushes for some reason. That would be assault, madam. I would have to call the police. Crazy girl. Another email. Oh, okay. Was I being annoying? I'm sorry, but I really need information on the IBN IBN 5100, and you're the only lead I have right now. I'm relying on you, Okabe kun. I swear I won't send any more short emails, so please don't abandon me. I need you to help me look for the IBN 5100. I promise to let you know as soon as I learn anything, so let's work together, okay? Oika. Looks like she's rethinking things. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about any more email assaults. So presumably, if I had not, uh, if I had decided not to send that message, the scene would be different. Now, here's what I'm curious: is it is it going to be? Is this just superfluous, or have I have I actually made a a choice that matters? Don't don't tell me. Don't let me know. I'm sure I'll find out. But uh, considering we're getting quite a few references to this, you know, the, the fact that we're having this conversation with Moeka, uh, it definitely seems a bit consequential. <laughs> Okay, let's send a reply. Apology accepted. I'm looking for an IBM 5102. I agree that we should exchange information. I'll let you know when I have something. You don't need to reply to this mail. I type that out and send it. メルコーカンは済んだ。法王院さん。おお。俺の魔だを覚えていたか。いかにも。我が名は法王院京馬だ。皮肉で言ったのよ。どこが皮肉なんだ。お前は俺の正しい名を呼んだ。何も間違いは
最初に浮かんだ州の名はアーカンソーであり次に浮かんだのがオレゴンだったあ,あ、ナイスそこはユタじゃない相対的に見てユタの方がっぽくないでは答えよクリスティーナなぜあの時嘘だと言った Interesting to hear foreigners' opinions on American geography. I think I said at the time, or, or maybe in the beginning of the episode afterward, but I, I, I get you. If I, as, as I said, if I were con was confronted with something like this, I would. I feel like I would be in denial, first of all. I just. Followed by just freaking out in general. とんでも科学だと何をバカな。お前もはっきり見たはずだ。メールが過去へと飛んだあの現象を。バナナが瞬間移動した。その瞬間を。見たけど。何かの間違いのはず。あるいは。私たちが都合のいい解釈をしてる
私はとんでも科学には手は出さない父と同じ失敗は犯さない Second, please. Okay, sorry about that. Let's continue. Wait, what? Won't make the same mistake as her father did, eh? Anta no kangai wa kuchi dake wa lippa dake do. Gakkai ja tsuyo shinai. Time travel dilo o kenkyu shite ru nante itta hi ni wa. なぜそう言い切れる私の父がそうだったクリス・グリムス物理学者の父はタイムマシンが大好きだったウェールズのタイムマシンに魅了されて本気で研究していたわでもそれにこだわりすぎたせいで学会からは追放に近い扱いを受けたそんな父を見てきてから私はタイムトラベル研究には関わりたくないの This time, her sheer force of will gives me pause. Um, I think she's really pissed. I may have stepped on a landmine here. What do I do? If I get her any angrier, she might seriously hit me. Let's calm her down a little. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. But what should I say? She apologizes first. Christina's calm character saves me. とにかく電話レンジはタイムマシンなんかじゃないメールの送受信は人の手で作られたシステムなんだからそのシステムの範囲内で現象を説明できるはず I mean, I'm surprised she hasn't said something like oh it was a glitch or something like that the banana is obviously much more difficult to explain but at least the email 女子の考えは分かったそこまでタイムマシンを嫌っているとはなお前の反応はアレルギーに近い無理にラボメンに誘って迷惑をかけたなもう二度と来なくていい決まれなくても来ないだがこれだけは伝えておくクリスティーナよクリスティーナって言うのラボメンナンバー004は永久欠番としておくこの番号はずっとお前のものだ。I finish my speech and turn my back to Krisu. I won't look back. I walk away slowly with my eyes closed. It's kind of hard to walk like this. I hope I don't bump into anyone. Wait, am I even walking straight? 何格好つけてんのよ。My shoulder is suddenly pulled from behind. I brace myself so I don't fall backward. Damn it. Her stubbornness has already returned. ってあんた言ってたわよねそれについての説明を要請するああ、yes、the other real life phenomenon that has yet to be explained あれは俺が見た幻だ let's just leave it at that for now なんであんたの夢に私が出てくるのそんなことは知らんあと、夢ではなく幻だドクター中鉢がどうとか言ってたけどそれはあの日ラジカンでドクター中鉢がタイムマシンの発表会をしていた発表会は中止になった人工衛星が落ちたからそういうことになっているようだなだが俺が見た幻では無事開催された
俺はそれをマユリと一緒に見に行ってお前に声をかけられたのだ<笑>私はナンパなんてしないましてやあんたみたいなバカに声はかけないだから幻だったと言っているだろういやあるいは幻なのはこちらの世界なのかもなふんだとしたら電話レンジカッコ仮の謎も解決だ幻ならば物理法則を無視したことも起こりうる現実逃避意外とチキンね仮説を提示したのだよ物理学者お得意のなそれで私は誰に刺されたのもしかしてあんた Well If my thought about the voice I heard is any indication、uh, I'm gonna give you a firm maybe I recall the sight of Chris who collapsed in a puddle of blood that sends shivers down my spine. Was that really just a hallucination? It was too real. I can clearly remember the smell of blood. まったくないその時点では俺とお前は一度だけ話したことがある程度のただの通りすがりの他人だった Well, that one time we talked was during the events I imagined so strictly speaking at that point in time all I knew about her was what I'd read in the magazine とにかく接点などほとんどなかった故に俺はお前の死体を見た後119番に通報することなくその場を後にしたのだ悪情者フッ Just had a weird thought No, no, never mind Never mind 何を望んでいる過去に戻ってお前の死体を丁重に扱えとそのためには電話レンジカッコカレーを使えるようにしなければなもういいわ今後そんな幻見ないで他人の夢の中とはいえ自分が殺されてると思ったらいい気分はしない保証はできないなそれを実行するためには24時間完璧に俺の脳内を監視しなければなるまい。How horrifying. 本当にあんたって、ああ言えばこういうわね。Chris shakes her head in exasperation, then turns and walks off toward the station. Looks like she wants to end the conversation. In revenge for last time, I grab Chris's slender shoulder from behind. ヤッ何よ俺の話は終わっていない喧嘩売ってるだろ別れのシーンを台無しにしたお返したクリスティーナ己の警察な行動を恨むのだなはいはいわかりましたで何を IBN5100 の件だ件だとか言われても知らないわよ何なのいや知らないのならばいいサラブもう二度と会うこともないだろう。I turn my back to Chris. This time I'll make a perfect. 言いかけたままやめないで、気持ち悪いでしょ。She grabs my arm. Damn it, this is the second time. IBN 五千何 ?IBN 五千百。1975年発売のレトロ PC だ今探しているん何に使うつもり Looks like she's interested She was the same way when she came to the lab I guess this girl is just brimming with curiosity 気になるか Chris who quickly averts her eyes But she doesn't let go of my arm 
気になるのだな少しだけよならば答え IBN5100 はセルンの秘密につながっているセルンあのセルンいかにそして我がラブが総力を挙げて調べたところによればセルンはタイムトラベルについて研究している痕跡がある Come, be astonished バカみたい聞いて損した Chris who gives me a cold glare then let's go and start walking away This time she's gone for good Damn you! Just you watch. I will expose CERN's secrets if it's the last thing I do. Careful about saying stuff like that, buddy. Okay. Let's call it for today, shall we? Good work, everyone. I think, uh. Got some good conversation. We got conversation with Suzuha, with Mayuri, with Chrisu, and Moeka. We got. I think we got. Did, is that every female character we've met in the game thus far? Yeah, I think we've hit them all. So, uh, how about that? Um, yeah, uh, I took a couple breaks in the middle of the episode. Still have not been able to uh, fix Microsoft Word, which makes me very sad. It's getting late, so I'll probably have to put that off till tomorrow now. And now it won't even let me. I, I tried to do the uh, offline or online repair. And I was about to try try it again with that other option. Now it says, "Oh, you can't mess with it while it's installing or repairing." And it's uh, it's you told me it was finished, and it still doesn't work. I, I don't know. <sighs> to just uh, yeah gets on my nerves but fortunately I get to play you know games like this you know it's not it's not like my whole computer is screwed up it's just it's just certain programs in any case I hope you're all doing well next time we will continue our search for the IBN 5100 and uh, hopefully that goes well I will see you then have a good one bye bye